Hello and welcome my friends. We are at the Grand Finals and as you can see we're not wearing a T1 jersey because uh, yeah. We didn't make it. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. Maybe we're going to uh, do a review of the T1 Hunger Life series because my reaction... I, I don't know. I would get into trouble uploading that one. But today we talk about Genji Hangwa Life. And uh, I know I'm late. I know I'm late. Uh, by the time this video will reach you, it probably 28 million hours have passed. But uh, that's life. Sometimes life gets in the way. Anyway, we are in this series. And I mean, Smolder mid lane for Chovy. So it should be a big W. First Blood goes over to Lahensia in this. Uh, Interesting tower dive, right? We have a bit of a lane swap situation going on, even though Ziggs is not in the game. Uh, I don't know why that actually is the case. Actually, what is Lehens doing here too? Uh, yeah, he copied from um, our dear friend Carrier and just walks all alone into the enemy team. Crazy play. Uh, okay, Delight comes over and uh, yeah, he continues to be on time. And yeah, this should be fine. I mean, Doran gets chunked a bit, but... There's just no way you can get this dive correctly, no? No way! No way! Okay. Zeka will get, like, at least 8 kills here. Okay, no, one is just given over. And Canyon gets a good... I think it's the E. But, uh, yeah, a 1 for 1 overall. And, uh, yeah, just overall a summoner spell positive before the Hunger Life squad. And, I mean, there are 700 gold here ahead. Canyon drives into bot lane. Delight buys a bit of time and... It's just not enough. Peanut will answer with some crabs and uh, uh, gr grubs, whatever. And uh, yeah, overall now, I mean, the gold lead has decreased a bit. So Genji is catching up and uh, like honestly, they still have the one and only Smolder, which uh, as a T1 fan, you know, that champion is, well, something. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I like Genji's comp too much, right? Canyon uh, on this uh, Skana. It's a pretty, like, aggressive champion for... Oh my god. That was insane. Viper's Ash Arrow connected immediately afterwards. Doran gets the old. It doesn't work out, right? But, wow, that was... <sighs> wow, that was something. Regardless, Kazanti gets a turret here. It's not first blood turret yet. But overall, Hunger Life opens up the map. And, I mean, hey. Like, they have the champions to maybe hammer down this lead even more so, right? They have the pick potential. And, well, who's going to, like, defend you from Ash Arrows, from uh, Delight's uh, Solar Eclipse, whatever it's called. Uh, like, the other champions are kind of K, okay, but oh my, oh my. It's the dream. But is it a dream or a nightmare for Gen G? Because in the end... Like, well, actually, it's just... Oh, wait. Actually, it worked out. It was just the hands. Peanuts old. It looked so massive, but... Well, maybe I'm blind. I have glasses, so that's probably the case. But, uh, yeah. Even with Hunger Life kind of failing that dive. Help, help. The hands in danger, but... I mean, Doran comes out of this and... Wait, what? Just gets assassinated there. Oh, my God. Which double AD carry team wins... Oh wait, Smolder's already online. Crazy, but Chovy dies before he can do whatever he wants. And overall, man, Zeka, he continues his insane performances this summer. What the hell? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It looked so lost when Doran uh, ulted the hands, was stuck in the enemy team, didn't get the kill, and so on and so on. But pace. Okay, that's the idea, right? Impale, like flash old and then do something. But in the end, it's still a one for one. Okay, see Chovy, see Chovy. Yeah, let's see, let's see. I mean, it's all on uh, on Chovy. Rare, uh, like, case where Pace, like, fucks something up, right? He is uh, usually, like, Mr. Stable. That's, like, everything he is. I mean, that's an exaggeration. Oh my god, double ult there, massive, but no follow-up. The hands was not there for the immediate, what the hell? Uh, for the immediate uh, CC chain. And sure, they get the flash, they get the the chunk onto Zeka, but they don't get the kill on him. It's just a jungle trade, and sure, you have Chovy, but uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. 
We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Oh my, oh my, Zeka here. Caught and executed. That has to be Baron, right? Peanut, yeah, also has not the faster respawn or anything. So that's Baron. And they get Drake in the aftermath as well. And look at this, man. There are quite a few turrets left standing for Gen.G to collect. And at this point, sure, barely, but gold still does matter, right? Look at the smolder, what the hell? QSS and Zonias. It's insane. Oh, wait, but there's the old Doran. It's all on you. No, 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 don't show anything else. It's just that. Okay, Zonias used. Doran will fall afterwards. Nah, man, Genji is. Yeah. And again, we see it, right? It just doesn't matter. Hunger Life, a good team. They have like some really good champions in like brute forcing. The idea of. Uh... Actually, I don't think there's an idea. I think it's just top lane matchup being good. That's the reason for Mordekaiser pick. But. Uh... Yeah. Okay, he goes in, lands probably overcooked here, right? There's no wave, or not a big enough wave. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, not great. It's okay, it's okay. They're still in a great situation. They still have Smolder, right? Unless mysterious things happen, uh, Smolder comb should always win. Um, let's just see. Doran here sits in the enemy team. Lance just doesn't die. Oh my, okay. Peanut gets ult and Zonias off before he dies. So yeah, it will be a one for one. The Cassante just melts against all the percentage uh, damage on like the young life squad here. Uh, but it is might down. So yeah, it should just be a Baron. Young life should immediately focus on the, yep, they're TPing over. So it will be Baron for Soul. Um, that should matter uh, a lot for uh, for both squads, honestly. The soul usage is fine for Hangwa Life. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Gold at this point now doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is cooldowns, defensive cooldowns for Chovy and Pace, mainly Chovy. Um, yeah, he has the flash. I don't know if he has Zonias or QSF, QSS up right now, but uh, we should assume so. Okay, good ult, good ult. That's not, don't overforce. There's the Ash Arrow. Okay, it connects onto Pace. The light gets altered. Canyon, what the hell? I mean, it works out because, well, there's Chovy, right? We just have to look at Chovy. We just have to look at Chovy. And yeah, he gets the next one. But oh, my Viper. Flash and the tick. It's not enough. And wait, and, uh, on the side, Zeka just killed everyone else. Oh, my. God. Did Chovy in that? Right? With like going away from his team, looking for the 1v1, this Ash damage is incredible. They should be able to end here. Wait, actually they're ending here. Right? They just kill them. They they don't care about the minions being gone or not. They just kill. What the hell? Hangwa Life played the early game, like well, which is something that we should kind of expect with their champions, but they did so really well. They had a bit of a slip up with the bot lane dive, which was like the first step for Genji to re-stabilize the game from the pick comp massacre that was unfolding from Hangwa Life. And well, then Genji had everything going for them, but yeah, a bit of a misstep here and there by Pace. Uh, I think, I mean, I have to rewatch it later, but I think Chovy like uh, blundered that fight, uh, but and actually Canyon as well, right? I think, yeah. I think overall this is pretty sad because obviously we're watching highlights. It's a bit hard to see like the macro plays really, right? Because the setup is not in on screen. But um, in terms of me like mechanical play and positioning and so on and so on, Genji having mechanical blunders that is crazy. Um, but regardless, we have, uh, yeah, 20 people in bot lane and Keen gets killed. So uh, this is like obviously costing them some time, but Pace is not destroying this or like melting the turret, right? There's a big cut here in between these clips, um, right? Obviously top lane turret is just sturdy as a rock. So will they get first blood turret even? Yes. Okay. So at least something Genji sacrifices Keen somewhat for the tempo recall or tempo turret destruction. Uh, also interesting that they pick the Blitzcrank here without the Maokai. That's usually their go-to combination. 
Um, yeah. The, the great thing is, honestly, for this final, uh, the first game uh, in a while... Oh my, Chovy. Ah, uh, Chovy, Chovy. Uh, whatever. Uh, first game in a while where there's no smolder, and I love it. I mean, the uh, NA finals were crazy. I just watched them again. I mean, just uh, wild. And one of the reasons, obviously, it's NA, but then another reason is that they're not non games due to no Zix in lane swaps and no Smolder, like at all, which made the games uh, possible to even exist, right? And to, to turn into non, non games. Regardless, uh, yeah. Lens, how much are you loving your life with fucking uh, <laughs> Blitzcrank into Ivern? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Man, it's it, there. We see so much funny things. Like the the on one side, the Blitzcrank versus uh, Ivern problem, and then the next thing is like, oh, um, what's his name? Azir versus long range champions. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless, regardless, there's the error. Bro, the light. Well, at least he tanks the hook. Why are you going in? Like, I don't know, man. He ulted so late. Like, if you go in, I think it's an okay call. I didn't see everything because my eyes weren't immediately on the minimap. But then at least ult early. This is something... I'm not sure if it was the light, but I've seen it uh, quite frequently. It probably was, uh, I think, on in the LC uh, LPL played Alistair recently. Uh, like it was some of the like better Alistair players usually. Oh Zeka? Yo the life steal from the Vamp Scepter is enough to keep Pace alive. Wow. <laughs> Regardless what I'm talking about obviously was Alistair's not ulting uh, in uh, in the right spot right or in time whatever. Anyway next standoff and obviously who is in favor of these things. Uh, it's the comp with the Blitzcrank. Sure there's a daisy but Whatever. There. Oh my, my, my delight. How is life going for you, man? Half HP before anything even happened. Poke comps are so great. Okay, maybe that was a bit too much. Doran gets an insane flank. Zeka tries to open up the roads, but uh, yeah, yeah, he's not a good construction worker. And we have another game where Genji looks poised to win it all. Like pace with his Ash, man. Ash overall, it's so strong, man. Uh, not sure. Was it banned in the T1 series? Well, it didn't really matter because our boy Guma picked fucking Zix every game. Uh, I will mold so much if I talk about it more. Regardless, let's talk about something else. Genji absolutely destroying everything. We have a stopwatch for Canyon, obviously. Uh, so no defensive items for others, but well, double knockup. No follow-up. Minion wave died earlier. Man. If I see this top lane turret as well, I'm getting so angry, man. T1 was never able to get it because Ben... <sighs> I, I should stop talking and thinking about the T1 series. Uh, anyway. Keen just says no to all the roads and his team arrives in time. He buys so much time. But... Yeah, okay, Genji doesn't want to overplay it. It was potentially an angle, but... Looking at their position, there is no reason to do anything silly, right? Soul point is there. Oh, Ash Arrow connects. Doran comes around. But Ash Arrow down, that's a big tool, man. Oof, oof, oof. These rushes are crazy. Keen is so squishy, though. I don't know what his items are. Okay, we pick Doran instead of going for the... Dragon? Are we looking for the fight afterwards in the 4v5? Canyon. Okay, there's the Choo Choo Train. Gets one. Gets one as well. Zeka will r dash away. So it's too to delay the stacking of the... Or the achievement of the Hex Hex Soul. That's quite something. Mikhail's? What? Mikhail's on the light? Well, I guess. Okay. Again, I want to see items. I should have paid more attention to this quick second shot. Okay, 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 just burst it, just burst it, but don't get aced and uh, lose the game immediately. But well, actually, there's no wave. Okay, there's the Renekton, just gets absolutely just- Oh my god! 
Bro, man. There, that's not a road, man. That's a fucking bicycle lane or something. Oh, white TP into the enemy team by Keen. And, oh yeah, okay. Pretty armor uh, heavy. So, uh, obviously, Azir is destroying him with his uh, nearly four items. Man, this Lehens guy. I, uh, or rather, like, I don't know if it's him, but this Blitzcrank. Man, a crazy. Okay. Let's see. Peanut also forced to flash. There's the rocket crap. Oh my, oh my. Ay, ay, ay. It's crazy. Is that the best option on Bros in the comments? Is uh, is um, Phantom Dancer what you want to upgrade for your AD carries? I'm not too sure with this anymore. They've done too many changes. I'm not uh, I'm not following it anymore. Doesn't even matter, right? Due to uh, your teammates in solo queue just uh, doing whatever they want. But okay. Let's see. Let's see. He also upgraded his Sunfire for himself, not Jack Show, which okay. Arrow hits Zek, uh, not Zeka Peanut. Okay, so we have a series here on our hands. Hunger Life is not doing any miraculous things here in game number two. And the snowball rolls all over them. And uh, yeah, it seems range CC is quite something. I mean, this was not a spectacular one. I think the draft kind of played itself at times. And uh, yeah, obviously HLE less agency in, in general right you have a losing jungle matchup your mid lane matchups kind of losing your bot lane is losing your top lane is just equalized at best and then looking at 5v5s uh, the issue continues so yeah genji locks down a good draft and this time they bring it home i should have paid attention and not rambled on but let's just see who will move up to two wins who will get a win to push themselves to match point. Let's see, let's see. Top lane matchup, keen favorite, but who fucking cares? We have lane swabs. Uh, ooh, we have uh, six in the game. Yeah, obviously then we have lane swabs. Let's see, man. Genji with this, uh, what's this called? Uh, six champion is pretty good. Uh, and oh my. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this probably will be an 18 game win streak because uh, yeah, the lane swapping is not really working out well. Uh, right, if you look, just if you just look at the CS numbers, right? Pace is down in CS, top lane is down in CS. What the hell was your swap? And uh, yeah, okay, there's the flash combo. I mean, it's on the hands, but well, who cares? Oh, okay, they have to use so much, but. Like, who cares? Like, Keen is stuck on the turret. Chovy doesn't have anything. Look at his inventory, man. It's just random nonsense. Uh, yeah, I mean, Canyon. I don't know what he's thinking. What the hell? What the hell is he doing? Keen comes in, gets a kill. And Chovy gets a solo kill onto Zekka. Is this like, I don't know, no we can't make that joke, uh, let's do this, like was, is this the Olympics, is this the, like the, the gold medalist in, in throwing or something? What the hell did Hang Life do there at the, at the Grubbers, man, that was just mind numbing, like so crazy. Regardless, that was much needed for Genji after they like failed the lane swap early, and well, that's kind of this much up, but also Doran will the hail. Well, actually, it's just really fucked because the Jax got uh, a kill and two assists from the, what is it, other play there. Anyway, he dies and there's Viper with three kills. And there's all, what? He, he, he pulled him off the wall like a fucking fly. Nah, no, not really. Oh my god, he gets the double ult as well. Canyon, man. After game number one, this is much better performance on the uh, Skarner. Let's see, Keen here. Bye. Bye. What the? That was insane. Oh my, oh my. Man, the level of play is ramping up. Let's see, let's see. Some fucking mad plays and fights and whatever else. Again, there's obviously the issue of like, oh, one team has like some ranged champions and some peel. 
But I mean, Hangul Life, this game, they have more, 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 more options to interact with Genji, right? So I don't even think it's a like draft non game. The only scary thing is uh, the side lane, because if Jax gets fed, I think he just destroys whatever he wants. Okay, that is not good, I think. Like, that is just too many cooldowns used for a Rakan. This is the standard strategy from Gen G, how they beat T1 at uh, at Worlds last year. In like I think two, yeah, it was two fights. T1 blew their entire load on uh, a Merc Treads Rakan, uh, and uh, yeah, obviously we lost the fight afterwards. Regardless, let's see. Oh wait, they start Baron against Gen G. What the fuck? Are they like fat? No. We didn't miss anything. They just desperation Baron at 22 minutes. I mean, now maybe the counterplay could be fine, but I don't know. Where's Peanut? Where's Peanut? Oh, there he is. And sometimes with these skins, it's so hard to see champions. That's the old age, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So it's not Baron on five, but it's Baron on four. So it's like, hang on life, man. Like they started so good and then they give Genji like one af opportunity after the next and this Baron was like absolutely maddening. How like look at your comp like you have a Jin, like a sure 80 mid laner. Yeah, but like hey, you're not doing Baron in 22 minutes in like a split second and the enemy team has so many options to collapse onto you and wombo you and do all kinds of uh, illegal things to you in the in the pit there. And Doran is like, yeah, like, yeah, sure. Teleport from Zeka, but I mean, his brother was already dead. Doran has having an average Doran uh, game when he's not playing against T1. Uh, yeah. Okay, that flash is troll, I think. I mean, sure, you could argue. Oh. Yeah, you could argue, okay, if he gets the kill, then he potentially, maybe, if he gets it fast enough, could push for the turret and open up the base. Uh, but it's like, nah, man. Yeah, Doran is just average Doran. Doran and Kingen, man, these two dudes are, like, always so, uh, okay. Right, they're obviously upper level, like, top laners. Wow, that was crazy again. Canyon for the second time scoops the Camille out of her E. Ay, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, like, on average, this Doran and Kingen guy is there. It's like, ah, yeah, mm, okay, mm. But uh, then they get the anti T1 buff, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, against uh, other good top laners internationally, or even Keen in this case. They just get uh, destroyed so often. But let's see, the engage is pretty fine, but stopwatch is obviously an item that exists in the game of League of Legends. Let's see, Viper. Good shot, good shot. Yeah. Mm. Both teams have like some issue with Baron damage. Oh, what? What? Observers, give me turret HP. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, Zix doesn't have ult. But still, like, what the hell is this macro? Is this NA or what? It's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Start Baron. Like, you start Baron, I start Baron. Everyone just gets screwed. Jovi Wing and flashing forward is a bit crazy. Uh, but, I mean, luckily, Pace is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a better Zix, maybe you could say, than Guma. No disrespect. Uh, actually, it doesn't have the biggest items anyway. Uh, I don't know. Enemy team doesn't have lots of MR. I don't know. Enemy team Zix just does more damage. He's a uh, level 18 and he has three items. I don't know. The Zix like has 10 CS per minute. I don't know why is he so poor. I mean, sure he has the Zonia's component, sure, but huh? anyway, yeah. Genji has Zix and they win. Uh, but no, this is uh, this is on Hangwa Life. I think they started into the game really well. Uh, we didn't catch it, right? How they played the swap better. Or maybe Genji fucked the swap up, I don't know. Um, honestly, it should be them fucking it up because they have the advantage. Uh, they could even say, oh, let's not swap, right? Because their top line matchup is better. 
And then Hang Life throws it away at the first fight around the Baron Pit with the, what is it called again, the Grubs. And then again, they, uh, yeah, let's just start Baron, start Baron, start Baron. And uh, sure Genji doesn't, like, must makes a similar mistake, uh, right? But yeah, I don't know. Okay, we have Udyr, obviously a bit of a key. Yeah, is it a keen special? I'm thinking, is there anyone else? I think I saw it in the LPL at some point, but I think it's mostly a keen special. So let's see, let's see. Can Hangwa Life bounce back or will it be... I mean, it's not even a, an expected 3-1. I think especially like the one loss, that was a bit concerning, right? Because Genji failed at the things that they are usually really good at. And this is disgusting. Man. Oh, man. The Zyra pick is rough. What? Bathroom break? Peripheral issue? What does that mean? Doesn't that mean I? I don't know, my English is not good enough. But yeah, I mean, like if you gotta go, you gotta go. Don't don't shit yourself on stage. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Carrier had one, I think. But uh, yeah, whatever. Again, let's talk about more about the draft. I think uh, it's a bit iffy. I mean, obviously Blitzcrank is Blitzcrank, right? He can just do crazy stuff. And... Oh, they don't get... I mean, it will work out, no? Uh, Udyr... Man, this Doran guy, he's so fast. Oh, no, there's the Meow Kai. And also, it connects onto Canyon! It's a fucking disaster! He has the haunting guy, so obviously he still had to root aggro if Keen drops it. And he will get executed by Zekka. Oh my god, yeah, Hangwa life is back. Ay, ay, ay. The light will show up with the Blitzcrank, right? There is, I mean, there's a front line, but Chovy can dodge, right? He can dash away, but Canyon and Pace, they... Yeah, Canyon is the prime target. He, he can obviously use his W, right, his plans to block the hooks. It's not the easiest thing in the world, though, and uh, yeah, you have to pay attention and so on and so on and so on. But uh, yeah, there is an angle of obviously using the uh, infamous uh, Genji combo. Wait, what? Turn around? They got the kill on the Udyr as well. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Okay, we have some turret traits here. But it's shared gold on the... Yeah, whatever. Stuff is happening too fast. Hangwa life is ahead. Dragons for Genji though, but the soul is kind of shitty. Comps are crazy. I think Hangwa Life has a, a better way to do things. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you have to flash head, head but pulverize the Blitzcrank, uh, you have to be fucking dis desperate, right? Genji has very little ways to start fights, and sure, they can get answered. Ay ay ay. I mean, this matchup is very snowbally, as obviously, like, AD carry matchups are, like, kind of always. But Cho, uh, not Chovy. Uh, well, Chovy, yes, but Corky, I feel, does win this, like, at even gold. But, uh, well, I guess Zekka is ahead, so he wins the 1v1. But getting a dive, man, that's crazy disrespectful by Chovy. I mean, that has to be the precipice, alright? Otherwise. Well, regardless, man, let's just see. Genji may have overforced here because, like, one side dies, there's Viper. I mean, and the hook connects as well. I mean, it's maybe not an ace. Actually, he gets another jump. Chovy has the mega blast cone, but that will be... And Baron is not even on the map yet. Will it spawn in a couple moments? No, 18th minute. Ay, ay, ay. It was so okay till it wasn't. Genji do the cla like do the T1 move from last yeah uh, from the last series right we also overchased into Angwa life at uh, dragon okay pew 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 oh my oh my let's see okay you are so much damage man now I can maybe see the, the stun angle oh yeah still uh Hangwa let's talk about ults maybe 
Ooh, yeah, Hangwa Left is also less ultra reliant. So in these aftermaths of like scrappy fights, even if don't uh, people don't die, they don't need their ults all the time. And Canyon doesn't get the smite steal, even though he's in range. Jeez, man, the gold lead is exploding as well. And look at this tree. He's so tanky. Look at Zekar, so much damage. Like, it's, like I mean, people. I don't know what the predictions officially were, but like. Looking at the like idea, right? Hangwa Life, like sure they have Zeka and they have uh, Viper, but like the other three players were just replaced on Genji for, let's be honest, better players, right? Uh, although I think uh, it's f it's a big f for Delight to be replaced by Lehens after doing such a good job on Genji, and uh, it's not that Lehens obviously is a great player and has a good history, but. Yeah, it's also some really rough times, so I don't know if I agree or I agreed with that uh, trade of uh, 120%. And I mean, Peanut and Canyon, sure, people will say like their words, but I mean, Peanut should not be disrespected as much as he is uh, by many of these analysts and whatever. Regardless, uh, yeah, I mean, this game is not much worth to talk about, by the way, uh, unless crazy stuff happens, like Hangwa Life just wins this. Uh, and yeah, pure, 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 pure. Oh, crazy follow up by Peanut. Uh, yeah, this uh, Maokai guy for Cock, uh, for Cocky. It's not even Maokai Cocky. It's not a Pentagon, no. no. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go to game number five once more. This time it's not T1, sadly, but yeah, Genji needs to win game number five once more to become back to back to back, 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 back whatever champions. Uh, well, in any case, Genji is going to win because, again, Hangwa Life is Genji too. And, uh, yeah, usually you would look at Hangwa Life and be like, oh, it's just worse Genji, right? The three players that were replaced. Um, Viper, sure, better, worse than Pace. I think this year Pace absolutely was better. I think Viper is a bit shaky at times, right? Which is a bit wild to say. Um, but, I mean, if you add Viper to this... That would be crazy, man. That would be three, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, again, gr great fighting, but you are 10k gold ahead with a better comp and so on and so on. Um, yeah, that would be two, uh, three Griffin players from back then. Anyway, uh, and yeah, obviously Zeka is worse than Chovy, you would expect. But I mean, Zeka is going into the next fucking uh, gear, next mold. He's upgrading, upgrading. And uh, yeah, it's wild. He's uh, absolutely doing his part. And I mean, this is clearly a better Ezreal performance by Viper than by Pace. And honestly, as much as like I was on the Misfortune hype train, I, I also have to say I'm not sharing the sentiment as much anymore. Her immobility, as always really, has uh, just become more and more part of her downfall in the meta, right? Too many like strong engaged supports that are scary. And like even in the jungle, Let's see, they all deciding game number five. The draft flashed away in a second, in a moment. Let's see. Uh, by the way, I'm pro Hangwa Life in this series uh, because they beat us. So if we lose again, uh, if Hangwa Life becomes champions, then at least we lost to the champions. That's my logic. And also, Genji is like more so our rival than Hangwa Life. So obviously, I don't want to see Genji like dominate even more so. But anyway, uh, we talk about the draft after this dive. Does it work out? Gets the hook off, so at least First Blood will move over to the hands. And now Doran should be able to get away here. Yeah. Okay, top lane matchup. Cringe, Kassante. Jungle Peanut gets his Vi. That's so scary. And it's paired up by Viper Six of all things. Zeka gets Yon. The light has Rel. What the hell happened in Pig Ban? Ay, ay, ay. Sure, not all SZ, whatever tier champions, but. Good enough and high priority for the players. On the other side, Kisante and Koki. And Canyon, obviously, Vile is the only one in the world that values this uh, Skarna champion. Jesus. Yeah, I think Hangwa Life, obviously, this is a bit messy and I should have paid more attention, but I think Hangwa Life just wins this. Like, the champions are just better. They're more comfortable with their champions. Uh, and, I mean, they're already uh, kind of ahead here. Uh, they're probably only behind because of farm or plates. What is it? Regardless, oh, more action in top side and 
Ooh. The, bon the, 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 the bouncing bomb didn't connect. Flash, flash used, so uh, yeah. Maybe that's a window what Genji can uh, abuse, right? They have good CC locked on, right? So if the game gets a bit chaotic, there's that avenue, right? Then Pace can follow up from across the screen and maybe they can get rid of a peanut that's caught or a viper that's caught, which should not happen. But if it happens, then Genji should have the tools to uh, be able to capitalize on that. But I mean, hey, they're extending their gold lead and uh, how many grubbers? Uh, okay, it's four to two, so at least it's not Zix, Yon, uh, Split Push, Jax, uh, with uh, all the grubbers in the world. But the hands is on a bit of a merry walk, and nah. I mean, he looks. Uh, he wants to put a control wall ne like behind the enemy turret. It's just wild. But yeah, Hangwa Life, they're relentless. They're punishing whenever they see someone out of position. They're expending their TPs. They're using them. Not off cooldown, but frequent. Let's see. Can. Zeka. No, it's not Zeka. Who's in the pit? Oh, it's Canyon. Does he get a good impale? Okay, he gets Zeka, but where's the follow-up damage? Just nah, man. No range to do anything whatsoever. The moment Hunger Life looks at you and moves forward, Genji crumbles to pieces. Sure, their tanks are tanky to withstand, but they're not the target. Chovy and Pace, no range. They have to move close up and personal to deal with the enemy team. They will get CC'd. They will get killed. Uh, yeah, I think this is just going to be an absolute fucking shellacking. I think like there could be a way maybe if Genji's comp gets fed, but even then, I think it's just too much of a difference. This Kaiser champion, absolute horse shit. Chovy, uh... Yeah, just won't be able to like stay safe at all and like with him being the only real threat because I mean Pace is two levels down probably has like zero items zero gold maybe he got some good farm but I mean it's just so fucking wild and yeah the Xanta is cool and all but like every like it doesn't matter right it just doesn't matter what's going on in jungle or top lane whatever like if mid lane and AD carry are in such a bad position like that's too much. That's that's just not something that can be leveraged. And here again, like Hangwa Life is so 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 smart. They are just waiting. They are not impatient. They don't pull a random trigger. They know. Wait, this Genji lineup. They can't do anything. Uh, maybe they get desperate enough. They flash at us. We are out poking them effectively. Sure, Viper's uh, mana pool is getting lower and lower, so that's concern. And there is the flank. Sure. Cool old, but uh, your carries are dead. That's the first one. The second one is shortly going to follow. And yeah. Uh, this is not exciting. This is not exciting. This is pretty sad. This is pretty sad. Game 5 being decided by draft this much. I mean, at least it's not a smolder game, but uh, yeah, it's crazy. And honestly, the Ziggs is not... Like, it's not Zix being Zix that's a big issue. Mm, is there a champion that's similar here? We need a long uh, a long range poke champion that also has zone control. Yeah, I'm blinking. I, I don't think Wei or Zeraf could be... Could be... Like, in a, like, could fill that spot completely. Maybe. Uh, but whatever. Right, it's not that they... Uh, like have a super turret destruction comp or that they got a really good swap in on something that uh, like usually is like oh six op but yeah i mean look at this like his damage is better than zero i guess but yeah i mean this game is also over that hey, wait that just means hunger life is the champions no i mean if i trust my eyes and trust this this head thing here which uh is filled with useless league of legends knowledge uh, then, uh, then yeah, Hagwa left just wins, right? They will get Soul here, which it's fine. It would be huge for Genji to some extent, but well, actually, no, not even because it's not even a classic. Oh, my range is good. Let's just see. Now it just does. Look at this. It just doesn't matter. They, they are just whenever Pace or Chovy want to be in range to deal damage, they just. Uh, now PG filter on, they get destroyed. 
And uh, yeah, maybe they can even finish 50 seconds on Jovi. They have a wave, they have Ziggs. I think it's just over. And Hangwa Life, uh, I, I don't believe in the fucking Rocks Tigers thing. That's like on the same level, we're getting political, as like Russia claiming they're the descendants of Rome or something like that. This is on the same level when... Uh, who, who else is it? Isn't like... Uh, there's someone else also pretending to be Najin or something. But yeah, I mean, big dub, big, like insane dub for Hangwa Life. This is so huge. I hope the video is not cutting off right now, but this is so huge. Viper finally, I mean, he's a world champion. Uh, I don't know if he made it. It should be an LPL champion. Now he's an LCK champion as well. Uh, don't be confused, right? This is obviously still not enough for like challenging ruler or something. Uh, but it's so huge for the exact three dudes, right? For uh, the three ex Gen G players who uh, did all of that, uh, like got replaced and so on and so on, to then finally, like, say, haha, no, we made it. Like, we were the reason you won. We ignored Spring. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's not only not a T1 Gen G. It's not even a Genji victory. So Genji's dominance over the uh, LCK has been broken. Uh, no, that's what everyone's going to say in their flashy headlines, but no. Uh, I mean, it's Genji Ron 1 losing to Genji 2. Pretty wild. This is like, it's, it's, it's not the same as like Samsung Blue, Samsung White stuff from like way back, but it feels kind of similar, kind of, uh, like at least in my eyes. But yeah, this is wild and uh, I mean, we have a different worlds format, but I mean, this is so crazy. Now, uh, I don't exactly know how the pools work, but someone will get Genji as like a pool two team <laughs> into your group uh, or into your matchup, whatever. That is going to be absolutely crazy because obviously Hunger Life qualifies towards us first. Genji by having the most points. T1 has uh, the, uh, the third most points, but that doesn't really matter. T1 will play against DK. Uh, in a couple of days, I don't know the exact date. Regardless, uh, I, I don't. I'm honestly like mind like numbingly uh, like astounding. I'm just like oh, shell shock. That's the word, because like I I I thought this was a quick 3-0. Not only do we go to five games, but we also have Hangwa Life winning. Like what they got shit on all year long by Gen G, obviously because it's just the same roster but worse. But no. They have better drafts in many cases. Genji clearly didn't look on fleek, um, which obviously game number one was the biggest uh, example of that. And I don't know, like the, the Skana prior is a bit wild. You have Kenyon, just give him something to carry. Not that the Skana was super terrible, but like, ah, obviously top lane as always, right? It's just top lane. Sure, I think he played decently better than Doran most games not all but most and uh yeah it's just it's just so wild anyway hope you enjoyed big congrats go out to Hangwa Life and like the the supporters man if you're an actual Hangwa Life supporter wow crazy uh don't know how that would be but hey anyway take care my friends and uh again we see each other soon with T1DK bye bye